Welcome to this getting started with Google My Maps video. I'm going to go into Google Drive and create a customized My Map. This is what it looks like after you've created a map. It sits along with all your other files, so it's a good idea to put this in a folder that makes sense for you. You can go to New, go to More, and choose Google My Maps. Now what My Maps is, is a customizable Google Map. Uh, you can create your own map markers, uh, you can draw on the map, you can do some, some really neat things. So you may use this as a project for a class. Uh, first thing to do is give your map a title. I'm going to click over here on Untitled Map and title this with my last name and whatever the project is I might be working on and something with the, the teacher or the class's information. So we're going to pretend that I'm in Minister Smith's sixth, uh, sixth hour or sixth grade or something like that. You could put a description here. You could create a map maybe around locations in a book you're reading. You could create a map around uh, maybe um, a science project you're doing on, on certain water areas. Uh, you could write some of that information in here. And click Save. This panel over on the left side is where you'll build your map markers. These are some tools you'll use. Here's the search to find locations. So let's say you want to find a real location. Uh, let's say I wanted to do Forest Park school as an example. Now when I search that, notice all these other ones come up. So I'm not just going to automatically click on the first one that comes up. I'm going to make sure I do comma Franklin and let's pick that here. So when you do a search, it's just like doing a search on Google Maps. Here is the uh, place that I searched. If I want to add this to my map, there's a button here that says add to map. Watch what happens when I click that. When I click that, it changes the map marker to blue and it adds it over here on this list. Now, because I made this or added this to my map, I get some other choices here. I can click the little paint bucket to change the color of that map icon. I can actually change the icon as well. We're going to more icons. I like using the search up here. So knowing that this was a school that I added to my map, I'm going to do school. And it looks like right here, there's a little two people crossing the street icon. Uh, I can So I can do that. That's all in the paint bucket the little pencil tool lets me edit. So maybe maybe I was making a scavenger hunt and I want this to say location one instead of Forest Park Middle School. I can rename this location on my map. Uh, I can also give a description or maybe some details or maybe the history of that location. You can actually type text in here uh, as well. You can also put links in here. So maybe you have something you want to link to, you can put a link in there. The little... Um, camera icon lets you add an image or video. When you click that, you get all these different choices. So if you have a, a, a link to a specific image, you could choose image URL and paste that in. You could bring an image in from your computer. Um, if you have a picture in your Google Drive that you saved, if you want to do a Google image search, the other choices are YouTube videos. If the video, if you want to add a video to your map marker from YouTube, you can do that as well. I'm going to do a Google image search. Let's see if we get lucky here. Forest Park Middle School, Franklin see if anything comes up here. Oh, perfect. So here's a picture of the building. I'll select that. So now that picture, let me save, uh, that picture is part of that map marker. So if somebody, when I eventually share this, if somebody clicks on that map marker, they would see whatever picture I added. You can add a few pictures uh, and then there's the text I typed underneath it. Just a great way to kind of custom make a map. As you're building your map, you can zoom in and zoom out. If you don't have a specific location that you need to search, you can use this add marker tool and you can actually drop a map pin wherever you want. So maybe you're making um, something around the neighborhood. You're making a route that you want people to follow. You can, with the uh, after you choose the map marker, you can drop a pin by clicking somewhere and give that a location. So location one and type some text save. You can do all the other things I showed on the last one. If you maybe you made a location in a wrong spot, you can click the uh, delete. Can you drag it? Oh yeah, you can actually drag it and move it too. So maybe you have to put it somewhere. Uh, at, as you can see over here, it's building my locations. Now this untitled layer, what's nice is in a map, let's say you're building a map for a trip. You can make layers as, as like categories in your map. So let's say these were going to be restaurants as one layer. And then if I add another layer, let's say the second layer, if I give that a name, that's going to be uh, fun spots. What's nice about having things organized in layers, if you even need to use layers, is uh, you can check and turn them off and on. So if I turn off the restaurants layer right now, you'll notice the two map markers I made are gone. So that's just something to think about. The other thing that's here at the bottom of this left-hand menu is the base map. So maybe you're looking for um, satellite imagery. 
So just like Google Earth does, you can choose that your map is in satellite mode. Um, there's other choices here for terrain, dark land mass. So you can you can choose any of these kind of as your backdrop for how the map how the map looks. So I'm going to leave it on satellite, I think. No, actually, I'll leave it on the regular map so we can see what we're doing here. Other tools that are up here, if you want to draw a route or a driving directions or a shape on your map, you can click on this little line tool and you get these different choices. So if I wanted to do, draw a driving route, a biking route, a walking route, or just a shape, I'm going to just do a shape. Um, so let's say I want to draw a shape. Maybe I am looking at voter trends and I want to um, map some data from this region. I can call this region one. You draw a shape and you actually close the shape on itself. So what I did was I clicked all those different points there. You can change the color of the shape as well. So you can make regions, or if you maybe you need to make a line for some reason and you want to make a line really thick. So we'll just, if you double click, it ends, whoops, it ends the shape. So if that's a line, that's really thin line right now. If I click on it, oh, let me zoom out. The little hand tool, it's good to know the hand tool. The hand tool lets you grab and move around easily. So let me get my, it's so thin, I can't grab it. There we go. So for whatever reason, let's say I want to make the line width of that a little bit thicker and gold, maybe blue so it stands out. Uh, you can play with lines and shapes and such and, and design on your map. So those are some different ideas. Uh, the last tool that's up here that I'll just quickly point out is this distance tool. So let's say for whatever reason, let me zoom all the way out here. Oh, get it all the way out. You can use the plus and the minus over here, or you can see I'm just scrolling and zooming out. Let's say you wanted to know how many miles across Texas was. You could use this ruler and roughly estimate. I just clicked a point there. And as I stretch, notice it's telling me, I can't see where Texas ends. There we go right there. Uh, it looks like it's about 737 miles across. So you can use the ruler tool to quickly see distances um, if you need to measure things and, and such as well. Preview, if you click on preview, this shows how uh, your map will look once you share it out to others. So this is good to look at so you can see how your map looks. So there's how my map is coming together. To actually share it, you can click on share and this shares just like a Google document or something from your Google Drive. You can uh, share it with individual people. Maybe you're doing this as a group project. You can share it to others and give them edit rights. Or maybe you just want others to be able to view this, or maybe you're turning this into the teacher and you want them to be able to see it. You can change the rights. The rights by default are private. You can change them to anyone with the link can view. And then that link now, if I copy this link and maybe I turn that into my teacher, or I post this in a Google document or a Google slide presentation, that will allow people to get to my map so that they can see it. So a lot of great possibilities with my maps. Um, hopefully you come up with some interesting ways to use it. Thanks so much for watching.